Hey, I'm Nicholas, and welcome to another interactive encoder shootout. Today, we are testing the A10 Mini Pro and comparing it to vMix using similar streaming parameters. We will compare the quality of H.264 streaming and help you decide whether you should use the A10 Mini Pro or vMix for your streaming setup. So, why are we comparing these two? Well, often what I see in different live streaming groups is people using both of these for their broadcast. Typically, I see people switching cameras on the A10 Mini Pro and then bringing that into vMix and adding graphics and to stream out to platforms. But will that really give the best streaming results? That is what we hope to find out with this encoder shootout. Now, obviously there are some differences between these two encoders. For example, with vMix, it is entirely computer-based and relies on the hardware and software of the computer. Whereas the A10 Mini Pro is the same as every other A10 Mini Pro. With vMix, you can also use any configuration of capture cards to bring in cameras for production, while the A10 Mini Pro that we are using is HDMI only. We can also freely adjust our encoder settings with vMix, while with the A10 Mini Pro, they have certain presets for streaming. You can make adjustments to these presets, but you have to go into files and make the changes. So, with that being said, let's take a look at the results of our blind test. If you need a refresher on how we do these, take a look at our testing method video so you know how we do these tests. I am actually doing slightly different bitrate for this test since the A10 Mini Pro only gives different set profiles for this, and I did my best to match them with vMix per the Blackmagic documentation. So, with doing two sets of tests, we streamed to YouTube via RTMP from both of these encoders. We have all four videos linked in the description for you, so go ahead and watch them, make your notes, pick your favorite. Once you think you know which is which, go ahead and expand the description of each video to reveal which encoder they are using and which settings they're using. I'll go ahead and give you some time to check them out, and I'll meet you back here once you finish the blind stream test. We're back. I hope you have all of your notes and ideas on which test stream is which. Just remember that going forward, this is all opinion based on the results of our tests. So number one is color depth. For color depth, we are comparing the fading color gradients on the top right, the swirling gradients on the left, and the static gradients on the bottom left. If we take a look at the medium quality of the A10 Mini Pro versus the vMix equivalent, I think vMix takes it on the lower bit, right? The swirling color gradient just has less color blocking compared to the A10 Mini. I do think the fading color gradient looks similar on both, and that it looks fine. But the edges of the frames definitely have some stair stepping. However, when we compare the higher bit rate streams from these two devices, I think the A10 Mini wins. For all of the gradient blocks we have, I think the A10 Mini just overall is cleaner. There's less stair stepping compared to vMix, and I really like how the fading color gradient and swirling color gradient looks. Number two, noise and confetti. Now, first looking at the noise and just comparing this between the different streams, I think vMix takes this between both comparisons. If we look at the lower bitrate streams, we can see that both vMix and the A10 Mini Pro have issues with displaying clear noise, but with vMix, you at least see some of the more defined and individual pixels of noise. Whereas with the A10 Mini Pro, it just kind of blends together. This isn't the case as much with the higher bitrate streams. However, vMix still pulls ahead. While true that we do see a lot better quality of sound for the high bitrate A10 Mini stream, we also see it a lot better from the vMix higher bitrate as well. I would say the high bitrate is similar to the vMix lower bitrate, whereas it comes in and out, but it normally shows a lot better quality. But the vMix high bitrate stream has a lot better definition in the static. The confetti portion is, in my opinion, a lot harder to judge between them. When comparing the lower bitrate streams, they look nearly identical based on the overall just confetti movement and how it impacts the stream. I would say that I think vMix does look a little better and that it picks up more of the confetti details compared to the A10 Mini, but not too much. While this holds true with the high bitrate streams as well, vMix overall still looks better compared to the A10 Mini Pro. With the higher bitrate streams, you do see more detailed confetti from both, with the A10 Mini looking better compared to the lower bitrate, but overall, I think vMix wins in this category as well. Number three, movement. When comparing the lower bitrate streams, I think the A10 Mini Pro looks better when looking at the quick waving portion. But 
When looking at the ripples portion, to me they look very similar, with no real winner in this area. And even when we compare the higher bitrate streams, I don't see any clear winner on this one either. They look identical when comparing the quick waving portion and the ripples. Number four, framing and gop structure. So this is something that matters more for video players. Certain video players will want a specific gop size or keyframe interval. And when comparing the A10 Mini Pro and vMix for this, I just have to give this to vMix. You can adjust these settings both for the SRT and RTMP streams from vMix with ease. And while you can technically do this with the A10 Mini Pro as well, you have to go into an XML file in the A10 software folder on your computer, and you have to know how and where to make the adjustments. This makes it more difficult to accomplish, especially when I can just change the settings in vMix with no issues. It's right there. So, overall, which encoder do I think is better? I'm going to have to give this to vMix in this showdown. While I do think that the color looks better on the A10 Mini Pro, as well as movement, I just think that overall vMix outperforms the A10 Mini Pro, given its natural ability to adjust your encoder settings, being able to have actual analytics for streams, and still not be outshined or entirely outclassed by the A10 Mini Pro. I think vMix's ability to handle the confetti better than the A10 Mini can also speak about the fine details that you can get with vMix and its ability to encode. What other hardware encoders should we test? Let us know what you want us to test. Please like the video if you enjoyed the test and comment below what your findings were. Thank you for your participation and we'll see you next time.